Office Connect Mobile Suite on the iPad. Um, as you open it up, it goes right into the file management screen here. You can see we've got a bunch of partners on the right side. We integrate with Google Docs, Box.net, Dropbox, Huddle, SugarSync, and um, Apple's iDisk and iDisk Public. So you have files locally on device. You also have files that you can access directly from any of these service providers, cloud providers. So as I, it's a little slow, sorry about that. But as you can see, there's all these files here are located on my iDisk account. I can open and edit any of those. I tapped on the documents, not on the sheet. Let's open, sorry about that. Let's open this document. As you can see, it open. If I make changes to this right now and save it, it will go right back to the cloud service that it came from. This is our quick sheet editor. You can touch zoom in and out. I can select columns, cut, copy, paste columns, insert, delete columns over here. Um, I can also resize columns right and left and rows as well. We can edit directly inside of cells. And that did that because I put too much in there, but <laughs> as you can see that I can also change formatting on something. So right now that's currency, let's make that percentage. And we'll text it out of there. And hello. We'll resize that column so we can see. that column so we can see it, that it changed to percentage right there instead of being uh, currency like it was before. We've got formulas, over 250 formulas built into the book, built into the program that you can um, use and insert anywhere you want. We have sheet manipulation so you can go to different sheets, you can insert new sheets and rearrange. Wow. Right? That's pretty neat for a mobile. Uh, I can rename my sheet here as well. Say done. Very cool. Again, if I if I choose to save this, it would go right back out to mobile me where I got it from and save that. I'm not gonna save it. Um, I'm gonna go back to my local directory. I'll show you quick word. It's our second editor for Word files. You can see we've got true pages. You can zoom in and out. And you get to it right around the fit size that will snap to fit. Cut, copy, paste, auto selection, and auto correction. You can also change the selection using the, the magnifier. And right. cut, copy, paste. Well, I've got that selected if I want to change the style or the size. The text, let's make that bigger so I can see it. All right, like that, and change the style. Oh, and by the way, I don't want it to be black. Let's make that pink, because I like pink. And we'll change the highlight color to be green. And you can see it's, it's done all those changes. Any problem with round tripping documents, like, you know, open a document and then be able to put it back on the computer and yeah. slowly keep everything? Yeah, we, we do we do really good round tripping, actually. Um, you can open a document on device, edit, make edits to it, save it to your PC, those edits will be there and all the data that you had to start with will be there, too. That's kind of funny, the people that have been in device, they got the worst round tripping in pages ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it def definitely there's some, there's some funny sides to that. So, let's say I don't like this. I can undo it. Alright, go back to the way it was. I can hit that button. There's also some quick buttons up here for bold, italics, and underline. Again, I'm not going to save up. Quick point is our new our newest editor um, we launched in December. Rotate. Resize. I can edit directly on the slide. I can also change the style and, and size similar to what we were doing in, in Quick Work. Right? I can underline, make it bold, italics. I, 
can change the alignment, which is pretty cool on the, on the shape, right? Change the fill color and the text color. And I can also change the arrangement. So as you have things stacked up on a slide, I can send this more to the back. You can see the trapezoid just popped up. Or I can, I can bring this back up to the front, where it's now on top of the trapezoid. Um, text editing again inside a text box. You can tap each slide to, to jump to different slides. You can move slides. So I've got that better out and I can select multiple slides and say I want to drag those down there. Wow. I can insert slides. I can hit that button. Here we go. Or delete slides. If I want to delete that, I can delete. If I can hit that button. Here, here we go. There we go. I can delete shapes. We can insert um, several things as well. You can insert a text box. You can insert a shape by dragging it in here, wherever I want. I can also insert images um, from the local directory on, on device inside the application, as well as on the uh, shared photo album. Right. There we go. I can take images out of here and drag those in as well. So this is our brand new quick point editor that we're, we're pretty happy with. Um, presentation, I can show this on device or on an external monitor if, if I had an external monitor hooked up. And you can send it out of a connector back to a regular monitor. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, virtual laser pointer, which we think is real cool, right? So, so you've got it on external monitor. So I want you to focus right here because this is real important, right? <laughs> that is so, cool. You, know, you advance, you can go backwards. Um, oh, let me show you one more thing. We've got a film strip over here as well that, that if you're presenting, um, which is really important on an external monitor, so, so you can see this and they won't on the external monitor. Say, so, this is great. I want you to go back over here. Remember this, remember this thing that we were focusing on over here on this other slide? Okay, well, that's what I want you to remember when we're looking at this slide. Nice. Right? And so they won't see that on the external monitor? They'll see the, the laser pointer. They won't see the film strip. Well, we have a control panel here as well that lets you do a couple other features as well. Um, so that's our quick point editor. That's cool. So is it Universal App or is it two separate apps for iPhone and iPad? It's two separate. And the reason being, uh, when we built the iPhone, the iPad app originally last year, we really wanted to maximize the use of the space. And there's a bunch of different things that you can do on a bigger form factor than you can on the, on the small iPhone device. Right. Now. Makes sense. And what's the um, what's the price point on it now? The price point on it right now for the iPad version is fourteen ninety nine on sale in the store. The iPhone version is nine ninety nine on sale. In the store. Cool. Thank you so much. Sure, thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome.